Botox, filler, those are cosmetic procedures that millions of people get every year, including men. And yes, many of them are right here in South Texas. Tonight, you'll meet one who has been getting Botox for years. We'll also discuss how to be safe if you're considering a cosmetic procedure. Meet Mark Canales. He's a proud South Texan, sells medical devices during the week, spends his weekends on a ranch, and every few months... I'll just kind of pinch his skin here and then do a little injection straight through. Mark gets Botox injections. In fact, he's been getting them for five years. I'm up against younger and younger men entering the workplace. Um, and two, personally speaking, you know, is trying to get back into the dating pool. Botox is a medication that's injected. It can help with migraines and back pain, but more often it's injected in the face to paralyze underlying muscles. The purpose of doing that is to reduce fine lines and wrinkles on your face. You'd think this would exclusively appeal to women, but you'd be wrong. The American Society of Plastic Surgeons says 467,000 men got Botox injections last year, and that's up nearly 400% since 2000. Thank you for calling Halcyon Men Spa. This is Kim. How may I assist you? I'm Kim, how are you? Hi. Angelica Jackson is a board-certified physician assistant at the Halcyon Med Spa in Corpus Christi. She administers Mark's Botox injections and has seen an uptick in men getting cosmetic procedures. It's a new trend. They want to restore or rejuvenate their skin, and they see their, their wives come in, and their wives' skin, you know, their wrinkles are disappearing, and they're saying, okay, what did you have done? At first, they were saying, no, don't get that done. I don't want you to look fake. And now the wives are coming back with wonderful results, so now they're asking questions. I don't think it's taboo anymore to get it. I, I mean, more and more I hear men saying that they're trying it, at least dabbling with it. There's a reason Botox is so popular. More than 7 million people got it last year. It's fast, easy, painless, but it can be risky. Some people have reported adverse side effects like droopy eyelids, drooling, or excessive tearing. And that's why it's so important that the right person administer the injections. So always ask if they're board certified. Ask what their training is. Are they a nurse practitioner? Are they a physician assistant? Are they a doctor? It should be done by a medical provider. Mark says he hasn't suffered negative side effects from Botox. I personally feel like it's made a difference. You know, one, uh, no one ever asked my age, which is important. And I think that's a, maybe a testimonial to um, just taking care of yourself. As for whether Mark will continue getting Botox? As long as I can, and as long as I can see the results and, and see the benefits. Stefan. Now, I, we should mention that he does look really good, and those results from Botox aren't permanent. They last anywhere from three to six months.